And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. It's like it's 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. Here I am, your professor, taking your calls. Let's say hello here to Steve on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great, buddy. Okay, I just want to know, why do you think that it's just right to disrespect women? You know, woman? that's what my opinion is about you. Now, do, I don't want you to... What is the plural of... Uh, what is the plural of woman? Uh, yeah, I can't say it on air. <laughs> I'll bet you can't. <laughs> <Anyway>. Bitches. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Well, I just want to know why you think that it's okay. You know, you just make it seem like however you treat them... Start with this. Either. Start with this, pal. Uh, first of all, uh, nobody deserves respect. Respect is earned. You know, men deserve respect from women. No, we I'm don't. Saying. No, we do. No then one does. What, no what do one. Do no do one do? deserves respect. Respect is earned. Okay, so and you, you know, if you do the best for them, and the way you say it is, if you treat them like a queen, or you don't. No, no, you like, don't treat them like a queen. I, you know what? Um, I'm, <laughs> I don't treat a urinal like like a queen. I don't treat it with respect. I I use it, and, I, and then I move. I zip up and move on. So you're trying to say that we're not supposed to, you know, take them to the movies, buy them stuff, Correct. take them to dinner. That's right. You know, we're not supposed to spoil them. Just treat no. them like. No. Like, By the way, you know, would you want to? Do you want to spoil uh, the tuna fish? You want to spoil salmon? Oh, you want to yeah, spoil? Right. Yeah, you yeah, want to spoil what? pork? Okay, yeah. yeah I don't want to spoil. I don't want I don't want anything spoiled. You know, you you know, you just got lucky. I'll tell you that much. I did. How did I get? Lucky. Tell me how I got lucky. Because you just make it seem so easy, but there ain't. It no is. Hey, you make it seem so easy. What the heck? Yes, it okay. is. How hard is it to treat women like crap? And then they'll just turn their heads and go right away. But you know they don't. I mean? That's my point. Oh, yeah. hey. Pal, you have no experience in this area, clearly. And I have a lot. And the women I've treated like crap I could easily call in here and fill an entire hour, if not two hours. And they, they know it, and I know it. But it's not all the women, okay? It's not all the women. You just got lucky, I'm telling no, you. That. Well, fine. What what do you know about this? Uh, what does your wife say? Uh, my wife, if you treat her like crap, then she's going to treat you back like What is your wife's name? Her and Tina. So you are married? Excuse me? So you're married? Uh, yes, I am. So what do you know about this? I'm just giving you my opinion of what I But you don't know anything about it. But you what, hey, what I see You don't know anything mind. about it. You don't you're I, pussy whipped. You don't know anything about the subject we're talking about here you, hey, because you're you, married. Are you are you married? Nope. No, you're not cuz you can't handle it. Pal, I've been hey, there. Now, excuse me. Oh, I've yeah, been but, married and when I when I stopped see, when I stopped hey, hey. when I stopped being married. It was my decision. It was not the decision of the other person. It was my decision every time. It was what every time? Then? My decision. So you forced her to get married with you? No, I never forced anyone to get married. I, so I, then I, what do you mean, Mike? Pal, listen to me. Are you listening? I hope so. It was my decision to get the divorce. Nobody left me. Nobody abandoned me. In each case, it was not their decision. It was my decision. Do you understand? That means you couldn't handle it. So you had uh, to No, it doesn't go. mean I couldn't handle but it. I am I am the happiest and the richest I've ever been. 
Okay, but the, how do you know? That's what you think. How do I know? Because I've been married. I've been married, and marriage is hell. That's how. Well, it probably didn't work out for you, but it worked. It out doesn't for work out for no. It. <laughs> why do you half all? Why do I? Why do half of all the people who get married get divorced? Steve, tell us that. Because they're just uh, you know weak and they can't take it. I see. They're so half of all, half of all of the people out there are weak. Half of them. Yeah, they got that. They can't mm. take it. They're like, you know... They can't take it because... Or, just like the people can't to, take living in... Take the people can't take living in Guantanamo Bay. The fact is, you can't take it because marriage is a bad idea. It's just a bad idea. So why do you believe in the same-sex marriage? You know, if marriage was so bad, they wouldn't even... What? How do you know marriage? what I think about same-sex marriage? Where do you get that idea? I'm just asking you. What is your opinion? My you opinion about... Se well, first, you assumed I was in favor of same-sex marriage without even knowing... Well, if right? you're just the type of guy, if you're not married, maybe you want to go that swing the oh, other way. Oh, absolutely not. In fact, uh, the only reason I'm in favor of same-sex marriage is because I think gay people have the same right to be as miserable as you are. <laughs> hey, Tom, you know what? I'm just, uh, you know... Saying what do you? What's your opinion? So you you believe in it or you don't believe in it? That's I, just what I'm I asking. don't. I don't really care what gay people do. It's fine with me because I don't care. So I do frankly, think, I I by personally think, personally, I think gay people are crazy to want to get married because they've got the perfect excuse. You just say to your lover, you say, "Well, you know, honey, I'd love to marry you, but it's illegal." I wish they'd make marriage illegal for straight people. Right, right, right. So you just you think they should just take marriage, like make it illegal, period. There uh, shouldn't be any families. Not, there shouldn't so, be so any marriage. You, probably, you know what? Maybe when you were a child, you didn't have a good uh, childhood, so you don't want... Who cares what the reason is? It doesn't matter. The point is that I am happier than ever. I'm richer and happier than ever. And the women I've been with in the past don't have as well. They don't, they don't, don't live the same good life they lived before. Uh, they're not doing as well as they were doing when they were with me. End of story. I don't think marriage has anything to do with anyone's financial. Oh, yo, yo, please. And I guess you haven't read about what happened to divorce court, pal. You'll find out the hard way one day. Jesus. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Gordon on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Great. Uh, just one thing before I start off, I've been listening to you for about a month now. My friend recommended you. Hey, man, you are a genius. My friend. Let me tell you, you, I agree with everything you said, and uh, you're, just, you're just always on point. That's just Thank you. That I want. Yeah, that's just one thing I want to tell you. Now, I'm calling because I have a kind of a dilemma, kind of an issue. So, I'm 19 years old right now, and uh, when I was 16, I had a girlfriend, and she was 15. And you know, we Why did you have a girlfriend? Well, I liked her, you know. Why do you need to have a girlfriend? No, no, I didn't need to have a girlfriend. I just, well, you, know, you did, I because if, if you had any game, you wouldn't have a girlfriend. <laughs> Uh, th things have changed, but uh, let me tell you. So are you saying now you have game? Huh? So you're saying now you have game? I'm not saying I'm the person with the most game here, but you know I do well for myself. I'm happy with my life right now. I don't right? Have a girlfriend. Okay. You have what? You have a girlfriend? No, no, I don't. I don't. Good. Perfect. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. So here's my question. So you know, I recently I did this uh, opera. You know, because I sing, and you know, my ex was in there, and you know, Opera. kind of the, yeah, the no, we we left on good terms. We were always friends and stuff, but uh, you know, now the feelings kind of have uh, uh come back to me, you know, and uh, just the one thing is that you know she has a boyfriend for now a year, and the guy's a douchebag, pretty much, you know. I don't know. Who cares? Can... No, the thing is that I want to get back with her. I want to get some of your advice. No. No? No. Why not? No girlfriend. You're too young to have a girlfriend. Okay. I don't and know. by the way, if she'd do that to her current boyfriend, she'd do it to you. Yeah, that's true. No. Yeah, right. The answer is no. You're right. No. You're right. You're right. Okay. okay. You know, my so what I say about this, I never press the rewind button. Okay. Once All you've right. had your shot with me, that's it. Okay. All right, you're right, you're right, you're right. So, yeah, I didn't think of it like that, you know. I was just thinking about what I, what, 
Uh, the funny thing is, though, that um, recently we got close, and her. Uh, what do you mean boyfriend. you got close? What do you mean you got close? No, no, we started like you know conversating a lot more and everything. Conversating you know? is not a word. Don't be ignorant. Okay, uh, we started talking a lot more, and uh, you know we became became closer. That's what I mean. And uh, why are you uh, talking to her? She has a boyfriend. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, stop I being you know, stop her. being an idiot. You know what? Stop being an idiot. Stop. Okay. Uh, she no, has a boyfriend. Huh? She has a boyfriend. Yeah, I know. But why would you want to be in a relationship? I don't care if he's an idiot. You're an idiot. Why would you want to get involved with somebody who's screwing around at her boyfriend behind his back? She's not fooling around. She's not she crazy. wants yeah. to. I don't know what to say. I mean, you don't know what to say. No, I'm calling you here for advice. She's kind of like, she wants to screw around behind her boyfriend's back. No, no, no. She doesn't want to screw around. That's the thing. Why That's is she why talking I, to you? Because I told her we're just friends, you know, like we're close friends and stuff. What are you and close friends with her for? She's a cool person. What do you want no, me to do? No, no. It's over. It's over. She left you. I left her. Whatever. It's over. Okay. All right. And by the yeah. way, why you leave her and now you want to go back with her? Why? Why? Because well, you can't find anybody? No, no, no. That's not the thing. Uh, the What's thing the thing? That, you know, we were we were both very young to you know be dating and stuff, and I realized right. That we were. You're still too young. Uh, okay. You didn't let me get to the juicy part, man. What juicy part? Her her boyfriend called me up yesterday. And, uh, you know, he was like, you need to leave my girlfriend alone. This time, I'm like, why have I done anything wrong? Yes. And he said, he said, no, but no, because I hadn't, you know. But I, you have. Talking to her behind his back is wrong. But that guy's a douchebag. I mean, he's Right. No one. And what would happen if she got with you and then she started talking to the douchebag behind your back? Then I would be a complete idiot. Well, you are a complete back. idiot. I'll save you the time. Come on, Tom, you don't have to put it like I'm that. I'm telling you the truth. I, she has no scruples. Okay, so your advice is to not... That's the thing. No I, girlfriends, I, uh, no taking... reminding me that, you know, I have a boyfriend and, you know, we can't get back and this and that, but I was just calling to get your advice. My like, advice is stay away from chicks you used to be involved with and stop trying to have a girlfriend at 19 because you're too young. Okay, all right, thank you. Tom. What college are you attending, son? Uh, Northridge, CSUN. And what are you studying to become? Psychology. You're child gonna, therapist. You're going to be a, a psychologist? A uh, child therapist. I actually work the job right now. I work with autistic kids. I see. So you don't intend to get a PhD or anything like that? No, of course. Of course I do. You do? Yeah, yeah. That's mm, good. That's, yeah. Don't let this stuff get in your way. You're right. You're completely right. You're completely right. That's. You're right. And I am stupid for saying for trying to get back with her. You're right. You're right. But right. in general, uh, huh? If you've got game, just bang a lot of chicks. Will do. It's it's been working out pretty good since summer started. So. <laughs> I right, well keep that game plan going. Mm -hmm. Tom, Tom like, like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six two. From Hollywood, it's Likas 101 with Professor Tom Likas at 1 800 5800 Tom. Class is in session. Christine on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello? Is that a question or a statement? It wasn't. I'm just cutting out a little bit, so I wasn't sure. Okay, so um, I don't have my radio, so if I'm a little off topic, I apologize. But I've been listening for about a week, and I'll admit that when I first started listening, I was. Um, very skeptical about everything basically that you say, but I decided to keep listening because I kind of wanted to understand a little bit more about what your point is here. Generally speaking, are you speaking to a general audience or just uh, are you targeting, you know, certain certain people? And I've come to the realization that possibly um, your beliefs on marriage and relationships and yada yada possibly have to do with your personal experiences. Am I correct? Everybody's beliefs have to do with their personal experiences. Right. Who has beliefs right. that are based on somebody else's experiences? 
Right. Well, you know, uh, being being the host of. You I know, mean, do you have any beliefs program, that? Are, do you have any you beliefs know, that? Are not, do you have Do you have any beliefs? Do you have any beliefs that are not based on your personal experiences? I do think that most of what I believe in comes from my personal experience. So there you go. So why this this is not news? Everybody's beliefs are based on their personal experience. So then you are agreeing. Well, but I also will tell you that most men have the same experience as I have. Okay, so so we're speaking on most men here, then, right? This is, well, this is the because basic. I'm broadcasting. I, as I say on this program all the time, I cannot do a show that goes name by name through the phone book. Of course you can. Dealing with each can. of the individual people and what individual experiences they've individually had. I so am speaking, it's called broadcasting, and I am broadcasting to a broad audience of broads like yourself. It's Correct. broad audience. So, so the fact that there's occasional exceptions to the rule does not affect the general statements I make. Okay, and I understand that, and that's part of what I was trying to get at. Um, so, but then you are admitting that, you know, that there are exceptions. There are people darling, who do great, who darling, do great in marriage, who do great in relationships. No, I, I don't think marriage is ever good for a man, not ever. For anyone. Not for a man. Okay, but see, you had to figure this out after doing it, what, how many times have you been married? You know how many times I've been married. Don't, don't play coy with me. I really don't know. I've just yes, I've heard you, you do. say that you've All right, married one. Before. I'm sorry? All right, one time. Okay, okay, one time. Okay, so th this is something that you have gone through. You have found, you know... So have 50... By the way, by it. the way, so have 50% of everybody who's ever gotten married. That's a, that's a big percentage, but it's also only half. Only so half? half out there. Only half? Yeah, let me tell you what only half means to me. Okay. Do you have car insurance? I do. What are the odds you can have a car accident? Uh, they're pretty good. How? What? What would you say they are? One well, with my driving record, they're very good. <laughs> so, the last hundred times you've driven, how many accidents have you had? Uh, to uh, it'd be easier for me to say that in the last year, I've been involved in two car accidents. That I how many times you drive in the past year? So you three hundred? Uh, sure. Okay, and you had two accidents. Sure. Two accidents out of three hundred. Sure, if you want to put That's that one up. out of 150. Okay. That's less than 1%. And your point? 50% of marriages end in divorce. You are right. way right. more likely to get a divorce than you are to have a car accident. I, I understand your statistics, and I understand what you're saying. But it, I feel like just because you're saying that 50%, which is a very big percentile. That's a very it's not big percentage. There aren't another 50%. The odds I mean, are even. Are you when you get married, or? when you get married, the odds are even that you will get divorced. Okay. Which is why that, that's my choice to make and anyone's choice to make. But yeah, but I'm you, telling I'm the men, I'm telling the men, a, I'm, Donnie, I'm telling the men. That because men get screwed in divorce court, they should not do it. It's too much of a risk. Right, and and the whole thing, whether it be divorce court or whatever, you you got screwed in some way, correct? Actually, I've never paid alimony or child support. Okay, not money, not money. Let's talk about you know well, whether it be that's how you get screwed. Whether it be your pocket, whether whatever it may. That's be. That's how you, you get screwed. That's how you get screwed. But see, I've had prenups the last few times. Okay. So, so the last I. Few times. Okay. Yes. Okay. So. So basically, you are targeting men who you do not want to have happen to them. What could possibly have happened to you? What ha no, I don't want what to happen to them. To what happens to half of all the men who get married? Okay. So the average listener who is either A, happily married, whether it's been for a year or for 25. This, the students in this class are, are looking to get laid. So this is a class on getting laid? I, I say at the beginning of every hour what this is. Okay. So, so you were not paying that's, attention. That's what it is? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't listened from the very beginning to the very end of every single What do you think Lycus like 101 is? It's a course. A course in what? A course on getting late. So why do we even talk about the, t the topic of uh, marriage and relationships? Because and I want men to avoid them. In are just trying because to I want men to avoid them. To avoid relationships altogether. And marriage. And just get late forever. Mm, as long as they can push it. So what happens when this guy who's been getting his laid his whole life turns 45 and realizes that he's totally bored getting laid and that maybe he would like to settle down? I know you don't like that. Even either, then, but... you know what? Have a girlfriend. Let her live at her own place. You live at your place. Because, because all women will screw you over, right? I didn't say all, but the percentage is so but high, it's not worth the risk. 
Okay, so then what about, let's take this on me. What about a, a girl like me? I'm young, I'm 22, I've been in relationships. I do want to get married someday. Um, I support myself. I don't, you know, I am one of those exceptions. You support yourself? No, 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 but you're not because you support yourself now. But later you'll want to have kids in most cases. I'm sure you're one of them. And later when you want to have kids, you'll slow it down, stop it down. And the guy you marry will end up doing most of the out-of-the-house work, at least for a period of time. I don't want to have kids, actually. Ever? But no, I don't. I have no. So no if you accidentally got, have you have you had a tubal ligation? Um, I'm I'm 22, and I honestly I don't want to have kids, but I can prevent that on my own at this point. If later why, on in my why, life, why, 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 oh, so you might, so you might want to have kids. That's my point. Say it again. So you might want to have kids, and the no, no, I don't. You just I, then I, why I, don't you have a tubal ligation? Well, I also don't want to have a procedure done like that. I don't. Why no not? You've had other procedures done. Like ever been what? to the dentist? Yeah, that's a little bit more urgent. That's th this is what? this is uh, something that I can prevent on my own until either a I can afford it or b I want to. Tubal like ligations that. are not expensive. What's not expensive? Tubal ligations are not expensive. Okay, so now you're trying to talk me into well, if in, you never want to have child. children, what I'm trying to prove is you haven't decided you never want to have children. You're 22 and you don't know what you want to do, and that's my point. Yeah, Down you're the right, line, I you're right. You know what? I I know what I want right now, but maybe that's not what I want in however many years. Well, that's I, my point. So that's and, that's and you know I'm that doing. whether you're admitting it or not, and that's why you don't have a tubal ligation. Okay. People who don't want to have children are sterilized. Okay. Okay, I understand that. A little bit off topic. I, You're not whether, one of them. Whether or not I have children does not, uh, I mean, and whether or not I decide to depend on my husband for you will. money or and whatever. You will, and when you I'll do, when you do, husband. you will not be the exception to the rule. You'll be the rule because you're not going to be able to work when you're having a baby. Okay, and, and how do you know what I do for a living or whether Doesn't matter what you do. Doesn't matter what you do. So I'm doomed, right? No matter what, I'm... I'm never going to get married. No, uh, if I do, there's I'll be plenty of suckers out house. there. That's my point. The reason we have this class is because there are so many suckers out there who probably would marry you. I'm trying to convince men not to do it. So then you believe that that if everything went your way... Or the well, right everything will never go be. my way or anybody's way. It, it's, it's ridiculous. The if world no doesn't men, work that way. If well. no men got married and no men had kids, then but that's not going to happen. Wait. That's not going to happen. There are. There's always going to be. There's always going to be some guy who listens to Coast One Hundred Three Point Five, or some guy who listens to My FM, or well, nobody listens to My FM. But the point is, there's always going to well, be somebody of, out speaking there. Speaking of your listeners, it also kind of upset me when you said that everyone was losers, and then I realized that no, I never know, said with, my, with the exception. I with never exception, ever. I will not allow that to pass. I never said that all my listeners are losers. I never said that. I was referring to callers, which is 1% of the audience. Okay, well, from what I've heard in the and last... you're in the 1%. Your callers, I do agree with you, have uh, seemed to have lower intelligence than the average person. No, uh, uh, now, wait a minute. Uh, darling, you, you, really need to, or, you really need to have higher self-esteem than that. I do. You need to have higher self-esteem. Because I'm calling in, right? Of course. You're a caller. And I did say with exception, and I don't think I... Oh, you're the exception. You're smarter than all... Know. So let's and understand. I'm not, I'm not you call, like, you are smarter than myself. all the other callers out there. Is that right? I'm sorry? So you're smarter than all the other callers. I did not say that. That's what you're implying. No, I said that there are exceptions. And so, oh, so you're not saying... Your show, you're not saying that you're not saying that you're one of them. So you're not saying that you're one of them, are you? I'm sorry? You're not saying that you're one of the exceptions. I am saying that I, yes, I'm saying that I'm one of the exceptions. Ah, I'm not drunk so you're smarter your than the average caller, you're saying? On your show, yes. Maybe not on another show. Yeah, what, what other shows uh, do you listen to where you uh, measured the IQ of the callers? Um, I listen to shows where, where people my age and younger are calling in and still sound more intelligent than most of the people mm, who call on your show. Really? Which shows yeah. are those again? Uh, Love Line, for instance. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's a very intelligent crowd. Hello, Doctor Drew. I'm I'm twelve, and my my boyfriend uh, has a sore down there, and I don't know whether I should uh, have a baby with him or not. Yeah, it's a very intelligent audience. <laughs> Those people are calling in to seek advice about things that they don't understand or that they don't know. So, the well, well in... that's my point. They're not very intelligent. Okay. I, I, I don't think I'm getting any of my points across. I think I, I don't think you have any points. I'm sorry. I don't think you have any points. So, 
to my main question about marriage and relationships, your show is just to uh, help teach other men to A, delayed, and B, not get in the predicament that you got into where you're so bitter. No, no. I don't care if men are bitter. I couldn't care less. And I'm not bitter. You don't understand. I'm the happiest guy I know. Yeah, you say that. You know, you say that you're the happiest About guy the, you know, Who else would, who would know better so than I do? And you're so rich. So right? I'm a liar? From being so, a radio so I'm a liar? From yes. Being on the, from being oh, on yes. the commercials that I hear you, you know, oh, yes. white teeth or whatever. Uh, actually, you've never heard me do a commercial like that. Never. Um, I, I have heard you. No, you yeah, haven't. Teeth, but I've heard you promoting something, whether it be insurance or... I, reading uh, commercials, uh, by, uh, by the way, reading commercials is a very, very lucrative business, darling. And just because you're ignorant as to how lucrative it is, don't embarrass I am, yourself. I am ignorant to that. That's why I'm asking you. Tom. I make a seven-figure annual salary. I can buy and sell you. So don't pretend you know what the advertising and business is like. And you're very proud of that. And obviously money is... And I have, every, I have every reason to be proud of it. It's an accomplishment. Okay. So if you have money and you're not being tied down by a woman or children, then you're happy, correct? Right. And that's what I've been parting to the guys. You need to strive for what I have. Well, I, you're telling me what I need to do now. No, so. I, no I'm talking to the guys now. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so for us women out here who, you know, are some, not all, but some. You women will me, use I'll your vaginas. You women myself. will use your vaginas to try to trap a guy into a quote unquote relationship or a quote unquote marriage. And you be not my quote unquote happy. That's not my mindset at all. I'm here. I didn't say a bad word. I heard it. Okay. I am so far from that, and I'm speaking purely from my own perspective. I have no intentions whatsoever, now or at any time, to capture some poor man. Ah, but you're going to get married. Getting married, getting married is, is capturing a man. That's what it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Maybe for some women. Why do you need to be married? I am. Why do you need to be married? I want to have a companion for the rest of my life. Yeah, why do you have to be married to have a companion? Yeah, why Everything could you have a companion? Do you have any friends? I do. Have Are you married to them? I'm sorry. Are you married to them? No. Ah, that's not, my I would point. not marry a friend. That's I, a, well. That's by the way. I hope the guys are listening. She would not marry a friend. So don't ever be a friend to a woman. I have girlfriends. I wouldn't marry a girlfriend. My point is, you can have a companion. You don't have to be married. I would like I would like to live someone with someone and grow old with them. You can do that without getting married. You don't have to get married. Do you ever shut up? You you know this is going to be a dialogue. I am not going to spend this conversation trying to scream over you. Okay? okay. The bottom line here is that you can have a companion without signing a contract. You don't have to sign a contract. Signing a contract is putting a man into slavery. Slavery where you're the slave mistress. And why is it that way? Why don't we talk about how that's what it is. we can change that situation? I mean, you I don't can't understand. change it. That's what it is. Okay, so signing a contract immediately puts everything on the man. Uh, it does, because look at what happens in divorce court. When the divorce happens, 99% of the time, who ends up having to pay? Okay, so maybe you should take this up with divorce court then. No, no. Yeah, I, I, dear, I'm not a legislator. I'm it a radio. Like that's where the fault I am not a legislator. I'm a radio personality. It is not my job to change the law. It is my job to tell the guys how to live as long as the laws are the way they are, and this is the way they are. So instead of changing the faulty, it's you not know, my job to change faulty laws. It's my job to look at the world as it is and to tell the men how to survive in the world. As it is. And that's what I'm doing. As long as the divorce laws favor women, as long as divorces end up with men having to pay out hundreds of thousands or thousands or tens of thousands of dollars, they should not get married. They should say no to marriage. And so women, on the other hand, if, if, that, if, if men were to generally follow uh, your rule of thumb here, then w where would women be at that that's point? That's your problem. I see. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I guess you know I what I all say. The answers that I can get get and right keep. Now. You know what? Get and keep a job. That's what you do. You know what? If you had to, if you did what men, if you did what men have to do, you wouldn't have a problem. What's that? Get a job. I have a job. Keep I, it. I have no problem. Plan on working full time, like men, Monday through Friday, every day, eight hour minimum for the rest of your life. Plan on that. Well. 
considering that the women that well women as you as you know them um, are compared to urinals and tuna fish I don't see why I would want to get married if I was you or any other guy that believes what you say either Tom so uh, that's my point <laughs> the, the idea is you know, as I always say on this program there's nothing like it and I mean it I don't know if you've ever been to Beverly Hills to the four seasons that's a beautiful hotel it's beautiful and every once in a while I'll go in there and have a drink at the bar it's not cheap but the lighting is good. Everybody looks good. Even the old fossils who wander in from Beverly Hills, everybody in that lighting looks good, in including yourself. I don't know how you look, but you're, if you don't look great, you will look great at the Four Seasons. And then what happens is, uh, every once in a while after you know you've had uh, if you've had a couple of drinks, you know whatever you put in has got to come out at some point. So I will wander over to the men's room over there at the Four Seasons. I've been there many times. It's on Doheny Drive, and uh, when I get into the bathroom. The beautiful lighting continues. It's lit perfectly. The mirror is lit perfectly. The, the room is lit perfectly. And and all of the, the, when you go in there, they've got like real linen towels. So when you wash up, you get these towels and they're warm. They just came out of the dryer and they were freshly folded. And you feel like a million bucks. So when I go in there and use that urinal, by the way, it's clean. Clean, beautiful, perfectly lit. And then after I'm done, I can shake off. Zip up, go over, wash my hands, use a hot linen towel. When I come out of there, my God, I feel like a billionaire. Well, I and I, no, I'm, not, I'm not done. Now, when I'm done, I feel great. But there are some times when I need to go and use the urinal that I'm not at the Four Seasons. Sometimes I'm at a Valero station out in uh, Newbury Park. And it's the only place I can possibly go at that time. So every once in a while, you know, I got to do a little slumming and I got to go in there. But the bottom line is, you know, after I've used the urinal, I don't kiss it goodbye. I don't fall in love with it. I use it for what it's there for. I towel off and I get the hell out of there. And that's what I'm telling guys that, uh, that that's as close as they should get to having a relationship. Okay, so just, so just like I said... Go to a whorehouse and no, no. Here's the difference. The difference is at a whorehouse you have to pay. I'm not recommending that guys pay. I'm recommending guys get it for free, and I tell them how to do that. I see. At a whorehouse you have to pay. I recommend guys do not go to strip clubs. Don't go to strippers. Don't don't go to hookers. There's well, plenty of women the one, willing the one to thing that give I'll, I'll it away. The only thing I'll say to your defense about this entire thing, and the only thing that I believe, is that for men who are on their way to being you, you're good advice. Okay, but for and, the average uh, good the guy way, who men, wants to get married... Men should be me. They should be multimillionaires with, with homes in two counties. Uh, they should uh, travel around the world, drink fine wine, have the hottest chicks they can possibly get. Guy, guys want to be me, and I'm trying to help them be me. Yeah, they want to be you now until until they're old and by themselves and have no families and live alone. Well, but they can't believe score me, Charlie, anymore when you are like, a, when you are a multimillionaire, you can score at eighty years old. Believe me. You know, to an extent, money is just money. Money can get you so much, but you know, get you laid. Without, without family, without it that can close get you laid. Connection with somebody in your life that doesn't matter. You it's can have close connections without matter. signing a contract. What's wrong with a contract? No, what's wrong with it is if things don't work out, the man has to pay. Okay, whether it's you know a written contract or a marriage that you two just that's what a, a marriage is a written contract, right? And 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 it's a contract where the man usually ends up having to pay. I just think that there'd be better ways to get around that than just to skip. Yeah, marriage. there are. There are. are. Don't get together. married. I mean, I Don't mean. get married. If you finally are getting old and you decide that you need somebody to uh, you know, clean out your bedpan when you're 80 years old, so have a girlfriend, but make sure she has her place and you have your place. Right. Let her live at her place. Yes, I see. It's great. I've been, li I've know, been living I'm, I'm alone. I'm right now, and I don't, you know, I don't mind... You know, enjoying all the benefits of that, but yeah, I'm, you know, but you're only um, 22. Yeah, right? I'm, I'm telling you right now, I've been living alone for years. I've never been this happy. I am blissfully happy. Well, I also think you're in a little bit of denial here. Well, you could say that. I was in with my therapist. I, I was in with my therapist today, and my therapist doesn't think I'm in denial. She says I'm exactly where I need to be. 
Well, I'm glad that you're going to therapy. I've been in therapy for years. Good. It? Yeah, you ought to be in therapy. I have gone to therapy before. Yeah? How, how, what, did it do you any good? Um... Apparently not. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-86. It's the Tom like His show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Flash Friday, 2008. It starts tomorrow at 3 Pacific time on the Tom Likas Show. Headlights on across North America. You might see Bear Breast tomorrow if you're a Tom Likas listener. It starts tomorrow at 3 Pacific time on the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM, Likas 101. I am your professor. Let's say hello here to uh, <laughs> Jose on the Tom Likas Show. Good afternoon, Mr. Likas. Uh, yes, Hello. Hello. I called a few months ago to ask for your advice on Like This 101, and it is to say, it worked. What did, what did we talk about? Well, I was the nice guy who pretty much did everything to try to, you know, get laid. I spent more than $40 on a date, which was stupid of me, and I didn't know about you until someone referenced you, an acquaintance of mine. And when I started listening to you, I figured I'd call you. And two months ago, I called you and asked you for advice on how to not be the nice guy anymore. And so you started uh, using my, my tactics, and uh, what happened? Well, you offered me tactics on when, well, the first situation was with a girl who pretty much thought me as buddy-buddy and wanted to go see a movie and all that stuff. But after following your advice, I simply told her, you know what, let's go watch a DVD at my place, and that'll be it. And she agreed to it, had a wine, and <laughs> I got what I wanted. Love that. Absolutely. And after, since then, I was surprised that it actually worked. So I started doing it more and more. I followed your advice at bars, not talking to anybody, just minding my own business, keeping to myself. And amazingly, the doors open for me. Hang on okay. a second. Let me get Mike on here, because Mike was going to ask me a question, but since you just had the experience, maybe you can answer his question. Mike, tell yeah. Jose what you were going to tell me. I was wondering that uh, when, you go to, when you go to a club or a bar and you don't give women attention, how do you break the ice with them? Jose, how do you break the ice? tell him. How do you break the ice? With me, I just kept it short and simple. Kept my answers short, clean, they won't get into a long discussion. They uh, they approach you. If you ignore them, they approach you. They do. Yes, they do. You don't pay any attention to them. Go, have yourself a drink, enjoy yourself at the bar, take in the atmosphere, talk to the bartender, whatever you need to do, but do not pay attention to the beautiful girls because once they notice that you are not giving them what they want, they will come to you and seek that attention. So don't even look at them. Don't even look at them. Enjoy yourself at the bar, have a few drinks, talk to the bartender, watch the game, whatever you need to do. Look at your shoes if you have to. <laughs> okay. Uh, even at clubs, like the same thing, like just go dance with your buddies and just keep ignoring them? The same thing, Mike. And as you hear, it works. Good luck. Thank you for the call. I appreciate it. The Tom Likas Show.